Uh, just going to do a quick video here today. This is going to be a little bit different than what I'm going to typically do on this channel. Um, this channel is going to be typically geared towards uh, value-based investing, um, as typically, you know, as most studies have indicated in some of the greatest investors of all time, you know, namely, you know, Benjamin, um, Benjamin Graham and uh, Warren Buffett that uh, uh, buying undervalued companies and holding them for very long periods of time is generally your best bet um, rather than taking huge risks in the market. But I believe in everybody's portfolio, um, there is room for just great opportunities and companies that are very speculative and um, uh, companies that I like to say, whereas they're highly risky, but uh, the risk is just, or the reward rather, is just so much greater than the risk that you almost have to do them. So this video is just going to be about my opinion um, on a company uh, that I've been watching, and I actually do, I will disclose, I do have a couple shares in it, not very many. Um, and this company is just something that's very interesting to me. Uh, it's called Patreon One Technologies, and it's a little known company right now. It's, it's trading on the Venture Exchange in Canada. Um, that's just the junior exchange here in Canada. Um, we also have the TSX, which is also the bigger exchange. And so essentially what this company is, it's a company that um, detects threats. You know, it's not just like a typical, um, it's, it's not a typical metal detector that this company has. This company has a very uh, sophisticated system. And this, this system is very small, can be put in walls um, almost anywhere. And it can actually break down and tell you, depending on the uh, different metals and so forth in uh, the material it's scanning, what kind of weapon it is. So they're working together with the RCMP here in Canada. Um, they're working with the FBI in the United States. And so they're cr creating this very large database, with very machine learning, I believe, as well, to detect these weapons. And these weapons can be detected in real time, sent to police agencies or to one smartphone or whatever. And that's huge. You know, that's hu something huge that's, that is needed in this world. You look at all these um, terror attacks. You see the gunmen everywhere, especially in the United States, you know, seen here in Canada. Um, and being able to detect that and and you know, be able to decipher, oh, well, I have some metal in my pocket or a knife or, you know, a handgun versus, well, this guy's got an AR. It can detect that. It's that good, apparently. So, I mean, that is part of the risk on this company is I don't know, you know, how accurate it is. It seems to be very uh, promising so far. So that's where the risk comes in. Um, but it does seem very interesting to me. So uh, today was actually a pretty big day for it. Uh, today's... Uh, I believe it's uh, October 3rd, 2017, we saw a 60% increase in this company. Um, I did see this coming. I've been trying to get this video cut out. Um, I've been just trying to start this channel, uh, but I just didn't have a chance. So the big reason for this huge dump today is that um, it, they've just gained FCC approval for the United States. So that pays out the uh, way for commercial rollout for selling this in the United States. Um, if you don't know what FCC is, um, it's I brought it up here so you can read it. Uh, it's a certification mark employed on electronic products products manufactured or sold in the United States, which cert certifies that the electromagnetic interference from the device is under limits approved by the Federal Communication Commission. So essentially, it's just allowing this technology to be implemented, this technology to be put out. Um, and sold in the United States, and that's huge. So um, I'll just show you this. This is kind of what the, the product looks like. Um, very small, can be put in into the wall, like I said. It can, it can be hidden in pillars here and anything and detect different things. It can detect this guy's phone versus, oh, this guy's got a handgun, 94.7% match found. So that's basically uh, the uh, premise of their technology or how it works. Um, so if you're actually interested, it's very interesting to go to YouTube here and uh, find, this is just from Patriot One Technologies YouTube channel, and they give some pretty good demonstrations. So if you're interested in doing that, um, I would suggest looking into that, but very promising technology. And they even have a, a spot here where it shows the guy coming in with different things, a, a, a pipe bomb versus a, uh, I can't recall what the other weapon was here. So get a little bit of an idea from it there. Um, 
looking through their financials, I'm not going to really go too much into this on this company because, uh, like I said, it's it's a very small company. There's nothing here. They're not even generating any revenue. But I still like to take a take a peek here. I mean, they got over two million in cash. You know, they've got some liabilities here. And this is as at uh, April 30th, 2017 as well. So I don't see them, you know, extremely over leveraged in debt. Um, they have some cash on hand. Uh, I've looked through most of this. I mean, they're, they're you know, they're, they're spending some money on advertising, all these different types of things. And they also have leasing for this technology because I believe this technology came from, if we can check here, actually, um, I believe it was leased from a university in uh, Canada here. It's not quite relevant. I was looking at this before. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, McMaster University. So they're actually leasing this technology from them. And I remember looking at it in a previous uh, yearly report. It's just quite a nominal fee. It's, it's not too much. And I think it actually expires within a couple of years. So the upside in this, com this company I see is, is pretty huge. It's some pretty huge upside, right? Um, uh, where was I going to look here for you guys? Yeah, the, the upside is pretty huge. Um, for the risk, I think it's worth the risk. Um, if we go back here, yes, if you're interested in any kind of technical trading on this company, you know, it's been, it's been running quite, uh, quite a bit here. Well, this is one day, uh, five days. What I'm generally saying here, you might not know RSI, but, uh, this is just basically down here an indication of the buying, uh, the, the, the number of buying, almost kind of like the buying pressure. I'm not going to get very complicated on this channel here, but it, it can be a gauge if something's overbought or oversold. Uh, yeah, we're at 56. We're quite, you know, quite high, but I mean, we also went up 60% today, right? Um, but in terms of, you know, how high it was before, it was $1.44, um, you know, and it spiked today up to $1.32. Um, but I really believe that this thing could go a lot higher. And if I look into it um, in respect to uh, the valuation of the company, and I'm not going to go into that today, uh, you know, forecasting a little bit of revenue, um, they only have 67 million shares outstanding. You do a couple of calculations here, this could be worth a lot more. But again, there's a lot of risk associated with it. Um, a lot of risks, but I think that the reward is just much, much greater. So that's basically going to be it. I, you know, I'm like I said, this wasn't going to be very thorough. I'm, I'm not going to be running through, uh, you know, PE calculations or anything with this company. But um, I think that it's something that should be looked at. Um, something that this is a choice you're going to have to make yourself. You know, I'm not a professional telling you what to do with your money. This is my opinion. Um, but that's what this channel is going to be all about. It's going to be about identifying great opportunities. Um, mainly companies are just extremely valuable, undervalued. Um, this is more of a speculative bet, but given what I see here, I think it could be extremely undervalued. It's a risk, but it's a good risk to take, I think. So that's going to, that's going to be, you know, all I've got to say about this company. I wish I could have gotten this out earlier for you guys. You could have gotten in earlier, but, um, it is what it is. So anyway, uh, we'll see what happens with this company. Next couple years, five years, this could be huge, I think. So anyway, um, have a great day there, guys, and uh, happy trading.